Hi everybody, this is Bonnie from Bonnie's Creative Place and I am here with card number four from our April online class and we're using the stamp set The Friendly Gnomes. Um, if you ordered $50 or more from me and already owned the owned this stamp set you got this for free or if you just ordered this plus whatever made up the $50 then you got the kit for free so basically if you order $50 or more for me you got the kit for free um the gnomes uh if you didn't have them you needed to order them obviously to complete the kit the way I did so let's get started the only other stamp set that I brought in was the go-to greetings um, most of you have it but use whatever greeting you have already if you don't want to use what comes in the gnome set okay so let's get started with this this is the card we're going to make today is it not absolutely fun like all these cards there's been a lot of coloring so I've been pausing and showing you so you can pause the video um, at the end so if you watch all the fast forwarding through the video and then I've been bringing it up and letting you pause the video so that you can see um, what it looks like when it's all done and then you can color from there if you want okay so let's get started all your little parts are in this bag so let's see here I'm gonna put this card over here so you guys can see it so we have a standard base card I did not score this one for you but you just fold it in half and score like so. Okay. And then if I could pick everything up here, this piece goes right on here. Oh, ooh, I forgot I'm using the uh the extra this is very strong adhesive because my other one ran out so when you're using the super plus just use a little bit <laughs> I forgot I had that one and not the other one so you don't need as much <laughs> you're just gonna give it a couple little dabs okay and then we're gonna put this right on there like that now we're going to take this piece and on the far left hand side or right hand side whew, of the card I'm going to take the stamp set that says wishing you the most magical of birthdays and we're going to stamp this over as far as we can get it and down okay so it looks just like that then we're going to take this piece, I'm going to give it a second to, to dry, blow on it. I just don't want to, yeah, now I've, okay. Okay, there we go. And then, I don't know, I think I did it about... Right about here, it looks like. Yeah, because I wanted to make sure the balloons. And then I just put it across. Then I got this other designer series paper. And just trying to give it little bits. And of course, I can't see it, so I don't know. Because I'm giving it little bits. Okay, if I get it closer to me, I could see it, but all right. And then I put this piece, so just a little bit hung down, and the rest went up, and I had just a little bit showing over here. All right, so we could set this part of the card to the side. Now we're going to do some stamping. So let's do this one first, since it's kind of the, well, I don't know about the easiest, but we'll open up our card here. The first thing I did was I took the Happy Birthday from the Go To Greeting, 
and I stamped this right in the middle. There's a wonderful hello one in there if you wanted to change that up to spring or whatever. That might be a little crooked, but we're going to go with it. Yep. Then I took the happy birthday, well, the balloons, and I just went ahead and I stamped a bunch of balloons. I put the string right between some of them the best I could some I even lined up with and it's harder for me to see what I'm doing farther away than when I'm on top of it so hopefully ooh, I did that one pretty good that goes right down so it's on top of the D so the string hits the D so it's not quite so bad and then I couldn't have an I, I just felt like it needed one more. Couldn't have even numbers here. So, I mean, you could put some down here, but you got to leave a little room for you to write. But So that's what I did with that part. We'll color that in. And then out here, for this one, I went ahead and I took the gnome, the little girl gnome, again. Stamped her up. And I put her right over here, like that. And then I stamped this up three times. One, two. And three. Okay. We're going to get these out of the way because we don't need them. And now let's do coloring. All the balloons are done all the exact same way. So I'm going to color one balloon on camera and then I'll turn the camera off and I will do the rest off camera. So I'm going to do one balloon and also while I'm off camera, you have to fussy cut off the other balloons. So I will fussy cut two of them and leave one to show you how I did it. Okay, so let's get started on her in a balloon. And I will zoom you in. And I forgot to tell you the colors I used. I used Daffodil Delight Light and Dark. I used Sweet Sorbet Light and Dark. I used the SU900, have I been using? Yeah, 900, or you can use the Ivory for the skin. And then I used the Balming Blue Light for the eye. So now I'm going to stop the camera. I'm going to finish coloring these and I'll cut out the, the things and I'll be back. Okay, I'm back. I have cut out two of the balloons and I've cut out the little girl with the die. 
and now I am just cutting out this other balloon and I just it's not that it's hard it's actually pretty easy if you just turn the paper and not the scissors is what they say sometimes I don't always follow the rules <laughs> And I'm trying to turn the paper and not the scissors, but it's not always. I usually do pretty good, but you know. And then I like to just cut that off to get it out of my way. And then I snip that piece. And there you go. It's not, it's not real hard, but if you don't like to fussy cut and you have a scanning cut or anything like that, run them through and cut them out. All right, so now let's put this card together. This guy goes inside. So we're gonna remember I have the, I didn't switch this over to my other one. I'm so used to my other one. Okay, I think I got enough on there. <laughs> The Stamp and Seal Plus is very, very strong adhesive. I like it for when I'm putting down stronger stuff, but when I have to do little stuff like this, it can, you know, can be a little hard. So here what I did was I took some adhesive and I put it on the back of the middle one, of one that I'm going to put in the middle, and then I put... It up a little bit higher I think I got tape sticking out there I do I put it up a little bit higher on here like that so it kind of looks like that and then I took and put adhesive on the back of this one and I just kind of put this one a tad bit lower but crisscross the little thingies like like that so I just kind of did that just made them all come together like and then I just put adhesive on the back of the balloons and I sat this over here and I just kind of put it like right about here well no right about there like that I, I didn't put any glue on them. Then I took my little girl and I took the Stampin' Dimensionals and I put some on the back of her. I think that one got flipped over. <laughs> there we go. Okay. And then I just kind of stuck her so like the balloons were behind her hat a little bit. So it kind of looked like this. Okay. And then I have these hearts. And because I had heart paper, I thought, oh, we'll put some hearts on here. And I took these hearts and I went ahead and I used my dark um, blending brush. And I used the brush tip and I colored these in for you so I don't want that where's my pokey tool hmm. well I guess I'll try this one because I'm not sure where my pokey tool went nope I can't pick it up with that <laughs> I have a ton of them and I can't find one. Oh. oh here's one here's an older one Okay, so I'm going to put this one right, well, I got it upside down, right there, well, maybe I went up a little higher, yeah, right there, I'm going to put this one kind of here, and then I got a littler one. I don't know, I think I used a bigger one there, but I'm going to use a little one now because this is the one that I got colored. 
I'm just making sure the heart is going the right way. Excuse my hands. And then I put one right there. So that is how I did this card, everybody. So I hope you enjoyed the online class this month. And um, I'll be looking forward to doing next month's with you. So thanks for stopping by. Bye-bye.